Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for uh, November. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could be happening now, could be happening in December, could be happening at any time in November. And not only that, this reading may not be for you. It may not be. Not every single reading that you watch is for you. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? Dear God, Angels, Spirits, and Universe. What do we have for Aries for November? Ooh, Nine of Swords, first card. So this is worried. Uh, anxious, depressed, perhaps a little overwhelmed, too much. Yeah, it's overwhelming. I mean, it looks like you you uh, have a lot of work to do. You know, you got a lot of work to do, and you're having finding the energy to do it is problem. You you know, I think that you're having a hard time sleeping at night. You may find that you need to take naps during the day because you're not sleeping at night. It's just a very heavy energy. You're feeling uh, maybe it's depression. Um, maybe you need to go to the doctor. Maybe you need to get some depression medicine. I mean, you know, it's there for a reason. It is there for a reason. I feel like there, somebody it's like somebody is struggling to cope. Okay, so I feel like um, you know it's hard to get out of bed. It is. It's hard to get out of bed because it's like although it looks really nice outside, on the inside there's something missing. There's something missing, and I feel like you're you're just having a hard time facing the day for some reason. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is making a plan, uh, moving slow, take your time. There's no need to hurry. There is no need to hurry. Now, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a, is, it's like a, it's like a quiet test. Okay, you may be tested in some way. Uh, I don't know what this test is about. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make goals and follow, th and and you know set goals, little goals, tiny goals. Oh, we got two, three of swords reverse in the four of cups. We have somebody here that is really discontent, and unhappy and sad. Okay, it feels like there's focus on something. There's too much focus on one thing. Um. And there's some sort of element of pain here with the Three of Swords reversed. There is. This is a need to uh, release pain. You may you're in some sort of pain, and you're it's like you're releasing the pain, or you're you're trying to release the pain, but it's it's hard. It's not easy. Still really focusing on something that hurts. Um, there could be some some maybe you do need to go to the doctors. So there could be some, you know, issues that need to be dealt with. It feels like you, um, it's like somebody is offering you a golden opportunity. It could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is offering you an opportunity, but it's like you're, you're not, you can't see it. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. You have somebody here that is offering you something, but it's like you, you're missing it. You're missing the opportunity, or you could miss the opportunity because of uh, depression. Looks like we have depression here. Somebody is definitely overanalyzing something and, and not realizing that there's an opportunity. It's like It's like you can't see, or you're just not acknowledging it, or you just don't want it. And you may not want it because you need, uh, there's an element of depression here. Maybe you need some sort of medication. Uh, and I don't, I don't think I've ever said that during a reading. Um, hermit, very isolating. I think that you guys are isolating yourself. You're probably going through some sort of spiritual transformation. Okay. Um, you know, when that happens, it can be draining. So you, maybe you're drained from a spiritual perspective. If you're going through a spiritual download or you're going through an awakening or something like that, it will certainly drain you. So you may be feeling emotionally drained or, you know, you just, you need to recharge. You do need to recharge. It's time to reflect. Now I said coming up with a plan here, setting goals. This is coming up with a plan as well. 
So I think that planning is needed here. Maybe you, you know, need to take your time out and get out a piece of paper and um, make a plan and stick to it. One plan. One plan, okay? Looks like you have gotten out some paper, huh? Or you're thinking about it. You, you could be overwhelmed with paperwork right now and you don't want to get out a piece of paper. I don't know. Um, it feels like you need to write down what your plans are. You need to write this down. That's what I feel like I need to, to tell you. Um, the hermit... The hermit is isolating. It's a time to reflect, to go within, to heal, to is to become consciously aware. You're going through a conscious conscious awakening right now, by the way, just so you know. Um, Page of Pentacles. There's that map. It's like you keep losing focus. And you're undecided. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? There's a lot of uh, overanalyzing things here. You notice this guy's flipping a coin. Doesn't know what way to go, what to do. And it's like he has the directions right in front of him. But he's wishy-washy about it. So it's like... I feel like you guys have an opportunity here to go down a new path that could bring success. Both of these could bring success. Okay, so I think you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I already said that, that may give you a golden opportunity that could pay off, but you have to take that step. You can't keep stalling. You can't keep looking back. You have to, you have to move forward now. Um, in some way, we have the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. doesn't have to be, but you you may have somebody that is holding you back. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody that is um, emotionally unbalanced. And I saw the water sign over here. So you may have to make a... You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions towards you and... They're causing you some sort of hurt because the hurt is here. You have this new golden opportunity, but it's like you're not really moving forward with it. You're thinking too much. This is a Virgo card. You're overanalyzing when you should just be taking that step. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who may use emotional blackmail as a tool. They make you. They may uh, see themselves as a victim and... They uh, don't communicate. They use silent treatment as a tool. They're withdrawn. They um, aren't really interested in you. They don't give you the time of day. And it's like it's hurting you. Somebody is hurting you, Aries. Um, Ace of Wands. Now, this is going downhill fast. Ace of Wands reverse. It's like no ambition, no drive, no desire. And something, it's like things going the wrong direction because you don't have the ambition to follow through with something because of who, you got somebody in your life that is using emotional blackmail on you. It's like they are. And emotional blackmail, look it up if you don't know what it means. I mean, the silent treatment or they say things to you to make you feel like you're do, you're not doing something right or you're not good enough. They just like they try to turn it around on you every situation and they cry and they pout and whatever. It's like you got somebody in your life that is is draining you. And I feel like you have the power and you've had the power all along. I think that um, you need to hold your head up high. You need to take action. You need to find that force within you to, uh, show this person who you are. Push this person to the side. page of cups you know you could have somebody new you could have somebody new that is right around you and it's like they're waiting for you to see them and you can't see them you can't see you can't see them because you're focused on something you're focused on something else you're focused on the wrong thing i know that you are i know that you are you have a new opportunity here you do 
You do. And this is like, this is a, it's like you have somebody here that I think is trying to communicate with you. They're trying to get you to go down this new path. They're trying to get you to trust them. They're trying to get you to work with them. But there's some person that is around you that is hurting you. You may love this person though. You may love this person. This could even be a child. I mean, it could be a child. This person acts like a child. But I think that you have another choice here. I do. I think that you have another choice, but you're just not seeing it or you're not wanting it or you're not accepting it or you're not wanting to see it. Um, I think that you, you have somebody here that wants to help you. And they see your capability. They see that you are very capable. And, but you're, this is grieving. This five of cups, not realizing that you have another opportunity. Aries, you have another opportunity here. It's time to let go of this person that is hurting you. Please, it's time to release this because you got somebody here that uh, sees your beauty. They see your value. They they see your valor. Okay, they see your nobility. Um, they can help you to heal. I think this person um, sees that you have been sad and they see that... They, they know, I think you already know who this person is, by the way. I think that this person um, wants you to give them a chance. And I think that you have that opportunity and you're going back and forth. You see the heads or tails here. It's like, what should I do? What should I do? Should I take this opportunity or not? What should I do? I think that you're overanalyzing it and that you should just go for it. You should just go for it. Um... Whoever you're dealing with um, that is holding you back, this person acts like a child. They act like a child. They use any tactic they can. Look up emotional blackmail, please. They use any tactic they can to make you feel depressed, to make you feel like you're the problem. makes me upset it does anyway I think that you are going through a transformation I think this person probably sees it as well they see that you are changing they see that and they don't want you to change they, it's almost like they want you they don't want you to be in your power they don't want you to be in control they want to keep the control over you but I have to tell you here with the five of cups this is grieving this is grieving and and, and and focusing on something that is no longer available. It's no longer available. I'm gonna let that go because this is such a it's, a it's such a good reading. It really is. I feel like you guys have another opportunity here that you have been missing. My advice is for you to take the other opportunity. Let all this pain wash away. You guys will be presented with, this is a new enterprise, okay? You got this new offer, okay, that can lead to stability. It can lead you, it can make you feel secure. It can put you right back in, in the, the lead, okay? It can boost your confidence. This opportunity will boost your confidence. It will boost your self-esteem. But you are going to have to follow your heart. And you're going to have to take the new opportunity and let go of this person that doesn't have good intentions towards you. This person that uh, is focused on everything but you. Let me get a couple of these. What else do we have for Aries, please, for November? You know, you have a some. You're, somebody is going to present you with an opportunity that could bring you some money, could bring you some sort of stability. It could uh, really boost you right back up to where you need to be. But you have to take the opportunity. Stop letting this person control you, whoever it is. They're causing you too much heartache. They're causing you too much pain with their withdrawal. It's like they withdraw. They don't communicate. They can't communicate. Okay, Aries. 
I'm back and I do apologize. I'm not going to start this reading over. I'm not because it's a message that somebody needs to hear. That message in the dog, the dog barking like that and having that person show up unexpectedly, uh, that's a message as well. I'm not saying that somebody's going to show up unexpectedly. What I think that is, what I think is that there's going to be an argument, okay? <laughs> that kind of thing, okay? I think that, and what happens is, is it starts and it stops and it starts back up again. There's no such thing as coincidence. They're really, I'm having a cigarette, by the way, because that just really pissed me off. So this is part of your message. <laughs> I'm telling you what, everything that happens during a reading is for you. It does. And that is a fact. Okay. I'm a, I'm highly awakened and anybody that is awakened would know that. So, um, there is a message in that, uh, interruption. Okay. So what I feel is though there's going to be uh, a nuisance, okay, something is going to happen and there's probably going to be a, some uh, barking going on, but between humans, okay, um, and I think what's going to happen is it's going to cause some sort of uproar and it's going to probably cause you to let something go. I mean, this is the last card I'm pulling for these. You're going to finally decide to just let it go, whatever it is, to go, to just go, just go wash it, let it wash away. And there's, a, this is, the, you notice there's a celebration in the back, background. It's time to celebrate you. Okay. So I feel like this is a month where you probably do decide, you decide to take that new opportunity. We're going to get one of these. You decide to go down that new path. That is what the Page of Pentacles is. You decide to do it. You flip that coin. That coin flips up on heads and says, go, go. Self-love. And that makes sense. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. And I think that's what you need to do. I think that that's what you need to do. I feel as though um, you guys will be acting, uh, you know, through a state of self-love towards yourself. But in order to do that, you have to stop crying over the loss and realize that you have another opportunity. Somebody is going to be propositioning you this month. Could be a new partner, could be a new job, whatever it is. You should take it, run with it, do it out of self-respect for yourself. Whoever this person is right here, this is somebody that doesn't have good intentions for you. They do not. It's not about love for this person, okay? It's about power. It's about control. It's about manipulation. So keep that in mind. Let's get one of these. And you've been missing. You've been, you may have been naive. You may have been missing it the whole time. What this person was doing to you. It's almost like, I almost feel like this person is a narcissist. And I don't like to say that very randomly. I really don't. But I feel like this person is, is super uh, manipulative. Appreciation. Yeah. And that, that goes with this. It's time to appre appreciate yourself. When you appreciate yourself, other people will appreciate you. You notice this came out reversed and I flipped it. You saw me flip it. This person doesn't appreciate you. But there is somebody else here that will. And I think that it is an earth sign. I think that you have an earth sign that is, is coming in with a golden opportunity for you. We got it twice here. Okay, we do. Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> but it will be your choice as to whether you want to take that step or not. So be prepared and good luck. And sorry about the dog. <laughs> 